Welcome back, folks and friends. Connecting the dots, too. We're Monday, February 26, 2018. Okay, folks, I got to get you guys on board here to let you know what's taking place. There is a scary trend that has emerged back onto YouTube once again. And this time, it seems like they're, they're pushing forward. It's not just the odd person like myself who will lose their channel. So you may recall that my Connecting Dots 2, the channel you're looking at right now, was actually my backup channel to my original channel, Connecting Dots 1, which was taken down in May of 2011. When I was approaching 8,000 subscribers, I got hit with three copyright strikes all within a month. Boom, 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 gone. Well, now we're seeing a very similar scenario taking place on YouTube, and I'm very concerned because I think YouTube is in the process of shaking off or discouraging any truther out there from making videos or reopening another YouTube channel. So if you are a real truther, you want to go open up another backup channel and get another one to that. I'm up to connecting dots three at this point because they won't stop, especially for someone like me who won't stop exposing the frauds on YouTube. So... I got to let you guys know this because this is just shocking what has taken place. You may recall, I'm not sure if you saw it, but I uploaded a video two days ago on Dana Dernford, how I'm contacting the police. I'm fed up with his bullshit. That is real bullying what he's doing out there. Okay. I filed, uh, what, three complaints on three videos where he shows my pictures, tell people to call the police that I'm a killer, yada, yada, yada. You may have heard the bullshit before. I even informed YouTube that while I was filing those complaints that he's already a convicted criminal, he's on conditions, he's harassed uh, two professors, I gave the name of the professors. So I figure, you know, I'm going to get up in the morning and uh, what, the, the three videos that I flagged are probably going to be gone now, right? Well, the videos weren't gone, but I'll tell you what happened. I get up in the morning and this is what I see. I had a big pink screen show up. And it tells me that I've been charged. Yeah, can you believe it? Uh, my YouTube has removed another one of my videos, the Sandy Hook Principal Don Hawksprung at the Boston bombings. I'll, I'll share that video with you in a second here because I still have it. Long story short, um, the video, as you can see, on the 25th, they took it down the day after I filed the complaint. And uh, I, I appealed it, rejected and I said to them, well, that's weird. You know, that's just over six years ago. Who's co who's complaining about bullying? Well, you'll see there is no bullying in that. So I've lost the ability to have the live streaming shows. Now, the odd thing in, if, if, if you remember, the exact same thing happened at Silver Gold Man. I started calling out Jason Up Force Trader Boss, who we did not even want to tell people his name. I dug, we dug out his name. We got his criminal record. We found out he's been convicted of other crimes. He's even beaten up women. I shared that information. And what ends up happening? I get taken down for harassment and bullying. Two strikes in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Number three, my channel's gone. And if you heard Jason Up Four, he specifically said to his YouTubers, come on, I need my army to go out there and hit him. Silver Gold Man, we need him to take him down. Did that video get taken down? by youtube no that's bullying why how come youtube didn't take it down it's not going to take it down youtube is corrupt they promote fraud and disinformation and get that through your head when it's a real person like myself who has the audacity to pick up the microphone and connect the dots and show the evidence not my face show the evidence youtube kicks you off they go after you they make a point of making you disappear so I got strike one. Will I get strike two? I don't know. But again, same thing here. I've lost the live stream. So my two main channels, Connecting Dots 2 and Silver Gold Man, I can no longer have any live streaming shows. So let's go on to Sandy Hook because, as I said, the video is still there. Over 77,000 views. This is from 2013. That's why I said in my appeal. I said, why would you bother now? It's over six years old. Who's going to file a complaint against a video that's over six years old? Bullshit. Okay, listen up. You tell me if there's anything bullying or harassment in here. Hey there, folks and friends. Connecting Dots here. It's April 17th. Okay, so I'm not sure if you saw my video yesterday, but, uh, well, I got a copyright infringement over it. They, they took the video down. I uploaded another one last night. Um, I, I, this time here, I was a little more careful about it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get hit, hit with a copyright infringement uh, on it. But if you want to see it, basically, it's called uh, The Bag Lady and the Family Guy Foreshadow the Boston Marathon Deaths. Uh, I've got a couple of extra ed added footage in there. Um, you know, it's just kind of odd here. And I don't know if you caught it yet, but they're blaming this on a pressure cooker. Uh, I've got pictures here of this pressure cooker. This is apparently on site. You can see some of the blood in the background. So this is part of the evidence. And I'm questioning as I look at the lid, because this is the lid of a pressure cooker. 
Um, in that story, yes, I, I'd mentioned how they found uh, these pressure cookers were loaded up with nails and ball bearings and pieces of metal. Well, then where are the marks in the metal from the ball bearings and the nails coming out. If it exploded out of this lid and blew the lid right off the pressure cooker, then I would expect to see a whole bunch of little marks for where uh, where these nails and these ball bearings would have hit. And as you can see down below here, that looks like the lid of the pressure cooker. I mean, sorry, not the lid, the bottom uh, of the, the base of the pressure cooker. There's another photo here. I'll leave a link to everything you see in this video. It's all linked down below here in the description box. And there's another photo there. So I think that's what the problem was. I pointed out that these ball bearings and nails that were all stacked in these uh, pressure cookers, well, when the pressure cooker lid blew up, where's the marks? Let's go on here. Now, what's really interesting about all of this, well, I'm not sure if many of you remember her, but uh, this is the late principal, Don Lafferty Hawksprong. Uh, this is the uh, Sandy Hook principal who lost her life trying to save the children. Um, or did she? I'm questioning it now. Because if, uh, and yeah, this is her, I, I, I've got a story here, you can go read that one if you want to find out about her. She was referred to as the five foot two uh, raging bull who tried to save their lives. i got some photos here, you can see her right there, and you can see her down below. This is definitely her, and uh, while well, the story comes out today, that uh, fallen Sandy Hook principal, Don Hochsprung spotted at the Boston bombings. Can you believe that? So this is taken from the TV. Someone got a picture, I guess, a clip of it. And there's a uh, Don herself. Uh, they call her Donna in this one. Was a few blocks away when the bombs went off. And here's uh, the the picture of her again. It's a, the exact same picture, you know. Um, and this is during the Sandy Hill, uh, Sandy Hook shooting. So you can see right there where they talk about including to help save children. That was her. Now, I went looking, see if I could find this video clip from Fox News, and guess what, folks? <laughs> it's been taken down, the page is not there, page not found. So I can't say it's conclusive that this Fox News ran this story, but I find it a little odd. Now this, honestly, this may have purposely been put up here to make, look, uh, make us a conspiracy theorist. I mean, you can call me what you want. Basically, I just call myself a researcher. I'm a father of two here. I realize that the New World Order has an agenda. I realized that in 2007. I put my own efforts here into busting the lies that they perpetrate on mainstream news. And anyone who's watched any of my videos on the uh, mass shooting, starting all the way back with the... Uh, the theater shooting, the Dark Knight Rising, it's one hole after another in all their stories, and now it seems like another hole's been punctured in this. But uh, regardless, I, I can't prove it. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday here, I got a website called connectingdots1.com. Um, I posted the information, it's all there. Boston Marathon false flag explosions, there's a whole bunch of data there. You can read up on the bag lady, how she tried to warn everyone to not go to the uh, not not participate in the event or else they'd all die so this starts here in 24 minutes and okay so pretty much that's the whole video um i get into a little bit at the very end i think on uh, a previous video let me finish up with the white house for a fireside hangout with vice president biden on reducing what gun violence these guys, uh, this is too much here, folks. They're really milking this for all it's worth. Anyhow, uh, I hope you go take a look at my video yesterday. If you didn't see that one here, there's also a picture where he's blown up a, what looks to me like the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm not sure, but uh, regardless, th it's very odd how this uh, video was m uh, put out roughly a month before, March 17th, and uh, it depicts uh, the marathon uh, deaths and uh, uh, two bombings which were done uh, ironically by cell phone. So, I'm not quite sure what's happening on YouTube, but there is a big problem. Uh, oddly enough, the Maestro Way, who <laughs> is part of the shill, this is like Alex Jones, right? Uh, Maestro Way is hooked up with uh, scammer uh, Gregory Manorino, right? The guy who calls himself the Robin Hood of markets, who's just led thousands down the big corruption hole. Anyways, long story, not corruption, but bankrupt hole by telling them silver's going to the moon, gold's going to the moon, and the Dow's going down to 6,000. Long story short, he did mention about bombards. So this YouTuber who just reads body language, 265,000 subscribers, her channel gets taken down. I'm telling you guys, there's something really wrong on YouTube. And when I saw Casey Neenstadt interviewing the head of YouTube, Casey actually works for CNN News. Can you see all the fake that's taking place here on YouTube? I'm concerned.
there's a trend and when they're making these guys stars 